for today's video we have one of those palettes that even though I've said to myself I don't need any more big palettes because really all I use are little quads that being said whenever I saw the pictures of the new retro palette by Natasha Denona I was like I have to have it it's a pink palette how could I skip it so yes that was mainly the reason why I got it and then I got it whenever Sephora had the kind of like app first like first look or something so I bought it I think last Thursday today's Monday when I'm filming this Labor Day so just a look at how beautiful the box is this is going to be the full size of the retro palette she does have the mini that came before this one so this is what the little baby one looks like so pretty similar in the pink shades not as much on the grayish undertones but this is one of my favorites for those pinks so naturally I had to pick up the big size honestly the pink just got me the pink packaging is just absolutely stunning so here is a closer look at all of the shades like I was mentioning I did get mine from the Sephora website I got it the day it was released Retail price is going to be $65 and it comes with 15 different shades just like her kind of like mid-size palettes. She does have bigger ones but this one is the range of the semi pricing because she does have more, uh, more expensive palettes in her line. As described on the Sephora website, this is going to be a romantic burgundy and mauve shades combined with grey browns, taupes, dusty roads and vintage pinks. So, although I'm not a huge fan of cooler tones or grayish undertones, I just was so drawn into this palette. And once I got it in my hands, I do see, you know, a little bit of those cooler tones, but it's not a big of a deal for me that I know I am not going to, like, use some of these shades. I look at this palette and I see that all of the ones that come in here would be, uh, would be eyeshadows that I would still love, regardless of the more kind of like grayish undertones. I think the palette all around looks absolutely stunning and definitely a pink lover's dream. Let's go ahead and first take a look at some arm swatches of the palette and then we'll go ahead and do this eye look. <laughs> Get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but Your dark hair with those eyes so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life Can I take you there? Can I take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Do we felt like this was forever? Can I take you there? start with the eyes because I do feel very odd with full face except for anything on my eyes so here is the beautiful Natasha Denona the retro palette I love this kind of darker almost mauve pink it's very very stunning and of course you get all of the beautiful shades very much up my alley although this is more in the color tone I still love all the pinks in here so first things first, let's go ahead and remove the plastic. This is such a satisfying part of opening brand new makeup. So exciting. So I'm going to be using first the shade Mod up here, which is like the lighter um, vanilla, pinkish vanilla shade. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And this palette does, or at least this shade does have a lot of kickback. I'll show you in a minute how much kickback there is. Let me show you real quick. 
so you can see all of the eyeshadow right there. You can see it very, very clearly right up there. Now in a more fluffy blending brush, I'm going to go for Nude Mob. So this one right down here. And I'm just going to start blending this into my crease in just windshield wiper motions. Let's move on to a smaller, more precise blending brush. And I'm going to go into the shade right here in the corner called Amara, which is like a mobby, darker pink. And I'm going to start blending this into my outer V. For my all over lid, I'm going to go for Helio down here. And I'm going to apply this just with my finger. In general, I feel like every uh, shadow that's kind of like more on the satin almost shimmering side it's always best application with fingers so that's what i'm going to be doing so just tapping a little bit and this is very very pigmented so you can see right there on my finger this is such a pretty shade you guys i am so happy with this look at how pretty that is i'm glad i went for this one on my lid so now I'm going to go back to the smaller blending brush and to that same shade Amara, so the, right, the one right here in the corner. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this after we applied the uh, lid shadow just to blend everything out, make sure there's no harsh lines. With a smaller, more precise brush, I'm going to go into the nude mob down here and I'm just going to run this all over my lower lashes. Now with the Amara shade, I'll do the same thing, but I'm just going to keep this on the very corner or the, of the eyes. With my finger, I'm going to go into the shade Psychedelic, so this one right here, and I'm just going to tap this on the center of my eyes. Now to do a little baby wing, I'm going to use the darker brown shade on the palette called Opart, so this one right here. And I'm just going to use a liner uh, brush I think this look would be better with a proper wing line so I'm gonna be using a brown liquid liner this one is by Too Faced in the shade deep espresso so I'll go ahead and line my eyes with this instead and then I'll be right back to wrap up this look so wings are all done now I'm going to move on with some inner corner highlight I'm gonna be using Vivian which is gonna be in the very corner up here just with a teeny tiny uh, more precise brush this shade is not as i guess shimmering as i was expecting so i'm going to go back to glitz which is going to be the fir very first one on the top right corner and i'm just going to use the same brush and blend this or apply this right on my inner corner this is definitely better for my inner corners I went on and applied a ton of mascara and here is the final look. I really, really am impressed I'm with so this happy new I decided to add this palette. Although it was an impulse buy because I just saw it and I loved the pink. I was like, ooh, I need to have it because it's pink. That's how my brain works. So whenever I saw it on, you know, the trend mood site, I thought it was absolutely stunning, but honestly, the pictures that I saw online do not do this palette justice. This is just absolutely stunning and breathtaking. Whenever I opened it, I was like, oh my goodness, what a beauty. And I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately, but larger palettes like this ones are not really in my rotation anymore as much. I definitely go for little quads and those are my go-to. But I know that this one is going to be a must in my collection. I'm going to be using it a lot. Now, kind of like summer is starting to, you know, end and we're moving into fall. This is definitely the perfect palette for I fall. I do have to mention that this palette has a lot of kickback. It's honestly not an issue for me. I don't find it, you know, any problem with this. And on my under eyes, I didn't feel like there was a lot of kickback. So it's just really whenever you grab your brush and tap it in the eyeshadow. But once applying it, I didn't have any issues. And keep in mind that I do always do my full face before I do my eyes. So my makeup is done by the time I start doing my shadows. So it didn't give me any kind of issue by, you know, being a little bit of a more looser powder. I wanted to do a quick comparison side by side of both palettes, the full size and then the mini one. I honestly 
don't see a lot of similarities in these palettes except for maybe the three pinks but those two middle shades have nothing to do with this palette so whenever I saw that uh, the retro palette was coming as a full size I was expecting or I was thinking it was gonna be more around this shade so very very cool tones which I'm so happy they didn't because to be, to be completely honest with you this palette I love the pinks this one's particularly the one in the middle I don't use as much just because it is very much gray tone for my liking and cool tones are not always the best looking on me that being said I still thought this was gonna be a beauty whenever I saw the swatches and it really is but let me show them to you side by side so you can see yes the pinks are semi inspiring to this palette but it's not you know I don't feel like they're like very distant relatives. I don't feel like they're related as much. But I still love them both. Again, these pinks are very, very stunning. But this palette definitely, definitely exceeded my expectations. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the little red button to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!